just remember, stay aggressive. But just make sure that we're sprinting everywhere we're going, we're working hard, and we're having fun. We have a very specific plan when we plan our tryouts. The first day is measurable day. We wanna see how the kids throw, how hard they throw, how fast they run. We also then get ball exit speed off of a tee and we record that, how hard do they hit the ball. And then we also do batting practice to see how consistent they hit as well. You know Coach Eric? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Our goal here at Zone is to make everybody the best baseball player they can be. It's not all about the Zone Red Hawks, all right? It's about you guys. And just because if you don't make a team here doesn't mean that you should stop playing baseball. Continue playing baseball, having fun. Our goal is to always you know, make you the best player that you can be. You see the yellow cone there? Okay. Coach Rand's going to hit you ground balls. You're always going to start that cone. He's going to hit four ground balls right at you. Then he's going to hit two balls to your right. We're going to ask you a backhand, and then two balls up the middle. Does that make sense? This is our first base station um, for our tryouts. Um, we're trying to see the footwork of our first basemen, um, their glove work, and how they pick balls and stuff like that. Because you know, first base is one of the most important players on the field. You know, getting that completion of the ground ball out and making that pick when you make a great play in the infield. Working on some, they're framing right now and then we're trying to shoot the guy out at uh, second base like they're stealing. Trying to be as quick as possible. The goal here is to throw low line drives. Low line drives, that goes through a grenade. All right, bud, hey. Now we're gonna switch to something different. I'm gonna go to the mound, I'm gonna throw you eight pitches. Some are going to be right at you, high, some are going to be in the dirt. I want to watch how you receive. So the goal of that tryout is we want to make sure that they're receiving and they're receiving soft. They're not like catching or, or trying to swipe at it. They're receiving soft from the ground up and so they can block it. Um, you'll see a lot of young players turn their head and that's what we're looking for there. Good mechanics, comma, open. Mostly when I'm at tryouts, one of the first things that I look for is the ability to throw strikes. Um, at all ages, being able to fill up the strike zone is probably one of the most important things. There's definitely a lot of mechanical things that I look at as far as is the player able to stay back? Does he have good balance on the rubber? Uh, how is his direction going down the mound? And then also arm action a little bit. So what we're working on right now is some pop-ups and, and some fly balls. We're doing this as part of the triumph to see how the kids move, how they get underneath the baseball, and how they're using both hands to catch the baseball. We're having them move in, go back to the right and to the left just to see how they move and how they use their, their feet, but they're doing a great job. Number two. All right, so this part of the triad here, we just did a 20 yard run. It's just a sprint to see how fast we are for 20 yards. And then you, you know, it's 60 feet, just like they're gonna be running down the base path. Obviously for our older groups, we move back and stuff like that. But it's just to get an uh, idea of how fast they are on the base path. This is our hit track station right here, guys. So this allows us to have a practice or a tryout inside versus outside and have the same thing. So this is their batting practice on the field and we're using hit tracks to find exactly where they're hitting the ball and stuff like that. So this makes it so great when you have tryouts, this hit tracks, because you can be inside. Like today it was raining and stuff out there, 100% rain. We're able to come inside and evaluate our players with the hit track system. The Team Genius app is used to help us record the measurables. It allows us to put in the different things that we want to, to measure with each player. So we'll put the 60 yard dash in, we'll put arm velo in, will put exit velo when they're hitting, then takes it and puts it into an evaluation card so that we can then sit down with each player after the tryout and go over how they did. Hey, this is our day two of our tryouts. This is our 13U age group. Um, this is our game format where everybody gets to play you know, their positions and pitch the three batters and live game situations. So we see how they handle the live game situations. So it's a little bit different than the individual play that we did on round one. Hey, boy. 
What skills are we looking for? Well, it depends on what position you're looking for. So infielders, we're looking for footwork. We're looking for glove work. We're looking at handball exchange. We're looking at carry across the diamond. We're looking at how efficient they are with their movements. We look at the consistency of, of their fielding when they're fielding the ground balls. Pitchers, we're looking at their presence. How is their command? Are they controlling their command? We look at their fastballs, their changeups, their two seam, four seam, uh, their off speed pitches. We work on some pickoff moves, all those elements. Catchers, we're looking at pop times. We're looking at their handball exchange. We're looking at how they control the game. We look at how they block. There's so many things in each position that we're looking for so that we can give a really good evaluation to the players as well as help us with picking the team. All right, so this is a tryout and we're here to evaluate you guys. But think about when you guys play the best baseball when you're with your teams. We're having fun, we're out on the field, and we're playing hard. All right, same exact thing goes for, for being in here right now. What do coaches need to know about the tryout process? Well, one of the main things is the preparation before the tryouts. Who are your coaches? Who, who, how many people do you have? How many uh, members do you have? How many coaches do you have? How many volunteers do you have? That's key because that will help with designing the stations in which they're gonna be controlling. You also need to know what space you're using. Are you inside? Are you in a cage? Are you in a hardwood floor? Are you in a gym? Are you outdoors? What space do you have? How many cages do you have? How many mounds do you have? Or are you just in a gym and you don't have access to anything? So knowing your space is very important as well. What equipment do you have? Do you have tees, baseballs? Do you have extra bats, helmets, uh, bases? Do you have a stopwatch? Do you have cones? Do you have speed ladders? What type of equipment do you have access to that you can then utilize in your tryouts to, to help with that? Those are all key things. Also the communication. How early do you want the players to be there? What are you gonna put on the players? Are you gonna give them numbers? Are you gonna give them stickers? Are you gonna give them different colored t-shirts? Who knows, all that stuff is very important. So the, the more you can communicate to the player, to the parent, and to the, your staff around you, the better the tryout's gonna be. So planning, planning, planning. Good rhythm, good rhythm to his delivery, good tempo, does a good job staying back slightly across his body. How are you going to pick your team. What's the communication going to be like when Johnny does make the team? And adversely, what is the communication going to be like when, if Johnny doesn't make the team? What are you going to do with him? How are you going to, are you going to give him an evaluation? Are you going to just send him an email? Are you going to make phone calls? So understanding and thinking about the whole process of, okay, now the teams are picked, what's going to happen now? Thinking about that ahead of time so that when you're giving your pre-tryout talk to the parents and the players, the kids will know what to expect and how to expect it, how the communication is going to be delivered. Email, phone call, text message. There's all these are different ways that players can get communicated to by the coach and parents by the coach. So making sure that that's talked about, I think is very important, is the communication. You guys did a great job tonight. Just keep working hard. And, you know, if you don't make a team, doesn't mean stop playing baseball ever, right? You know, it's all about you guys being better baseball players and, you know, being, you know growing up to be good young gentlemen and enjoy the game of baseball, all right? All right, on the count of three, here we go. Zone on three. Loud and proud. Zone on three. One, two, three, zone!